Hello friends, welcome back to Storage Automation Campus. This is Gaurav here. Uh, this, in this tutorial, we are going to uh, learn how we can create um, volumes in uh, NetApp ONTAP using uh, NetApp APIs, NetApp ONTAP APIs. So, uh, I, without wasting time, I will uh, take you directly uh, to that API which we'll use. But before that, I um, want you to understand some basic difference uh, in the APIs. And we'll try to understand that using Z Explorer. And uh, this video uh, uh, might be a bit long, so um, and I will try to make it as short as possible. But uh, just to be sure that it, this video might be a bit long. Um, if you come here and if you uh, explore the Z Explorer and if you uh, notice here that every version of api generally has two or three um, different kind of apis in this and one is cluster mode uh, and same goes with uh, 1.15 is for v server also so the when we say cluster mode and v server these are basically we are talking about the context of the api so some there are some api which basically works on the uh, cluster mode uh, which is, means that it those API does not work in the vServer context, but the vServer API works with the vServer context. So let's select the cluster mode API. So let's say if I want to create a volume, okay, and I go to volume, and if you notice here, there is no API called volume create. And if you go deep in this, you will notice that most of the API are something like which you can do uh, the work which is available uh, which is possible on the cluster level you cannot do some of the work which is not possible on the v server level so for example if you need to create a, a volume you should have a, a v server information in there so uh, in using the cluster mode api cluster uh, where i'm talking about the context is cluster mode we cannot create a volume without a v server uh, v server context api uh, now another example probably could be a queue tree so you can see there is no uh, uh, queue tree create api in this example and that is again because we are in the cluster context mode now let's uh, move to the v server context mode so when you are in the v server context mode you will see the volume api there is a volume api called volume create okay so why it is possible because it, it is possible because uh, we are in a v server context api now same if you go to q tree you can see because q tree needs a v server name so we have a v server context api and that is a q tree create or q tree delete so uh, you need to keep in mind oh, at what level uh, you are trying to achieve a task whether that's on a cluster level for example you want to get the list of q tree you want to get the list of volumes that is on the q tree level that can work with the cluster level api but if you are talking about a volume creation or q tree creation where you need to mention the <clears throat> the v server you need to uh, go to the v server context apis so uh, let's uh, see if we uh, will in this tutorial we'll see how we can create the volume so in the v server context api uh, one thing you have to before using this api you need to keep in mind whenever you use the v server uh, apis you have to set up a tunnel for the v server context apis so basically uh, if you remember uh, from my previous examples we set up all this connection up to the cluster level so this connection help us to set up a connection uh, th this portion of the code helps us to set up a connection onto the cluster level but in this v server level api we have to set up this new line also and that is nothing but it helps you to set up a tunnel between the v server um, and the code so uh, we tell that this api need to run on this v server so that's why it it is a v server context api so if you come here in in the wall wall clone create so i'm sorry the wall create and you if you select this you will see it is asking so many so so many information to provide uh, so 
this complete information I am definitely uh, not going to give here and probably I can give that information later and it, it depends on case to case where you may decide whether you want to give this information or you don't want to give this information. By the way, if you come on this and you just uh, drag your mouse on top of this, you will understand that how to use that API. So size, basically you give, you mention like 1G or 1K or 1T, uh, that defines that what the size of should be, that 1 gigabyte, 1 terabyte, 1 megabyte, whatever size you want to keep it. So uh, volume is something, nothing but uh, this is uh, something where you mention the volume name. Same goes with volume type, uh, volume state, etc. There are uh, different uh, junction path also you can define. You can define the export policies. You can define the snapshot size, snapshot policies. So basically you can define all those parameter. Uh, I In this tutorial, I will keep it very simple. Uh, I will go ahead and create the volume which will be um, a simple volume where um, we will mention the bare minimum which is aggregate. Uh, in which aggregate it should be, the SVM name, which is in V server it should be, then uh, the you know, volume name and the size. So these are the four bare minimum uh, parameters what you need uh, to create any volume. So to get the code for that, what I can do is I can simply delete what I don't want. So I don't want to have the export policy created right now. I want the uh, uh, container aggregate name and the, uh, the aggregate where the volume is going to reside I uh, don't want to create a junction path right now no max dir so up to here I'm going to delete everything then I need a size yes I need a size this is a this come under the bare minimum I'm going to delete rest of the stuff out of this I need the volume name yes I need the volume name so I'm going to delete rest of this so <clears throat> if you see here uh, this is basically the code which it gives me if you want to run this code uh, over here you are going to get the error because you don't have v server context set up in this uh, example here but the code what i have written for you in the text editor that has the v server context so so i will show you uh, there as well so just uh, uh, to be sure that containing aggregate name uh, so you can get that name from the uh, from the cluster itself uh, that what aggregate name should be there the size it need to be so let's say if you click here and you can add it you can say one gig that would be your size containing aggregate na name could be anything for example abc then volume name could be anything like wall 01 like that so so you basically set up all this thing and it will fill up all this data for you over here and it will help you uh, to generate the code but uh, for your understanding for um, um, uh, to make it very quick i have already created this code in the uh, text editor so you can see um, uh, the portion here as i said before it is same what we were using before to get the aggregate list or the version or the volume. So if you see here, this same, this portion of the code remains same. Uh, the addition here is uh, that I have, uh, I'm trying to set up the tunnel between the, um, um, the uh, code and the V server. Uh, so you can see that uh, one of my v SVM name is, uh, so test underscore SVM is one of my SVM you can see here. Then um, this is what it is. Then uh, um, the volume name. I am giving volume name as a test wall 01. Then SVM root aggregate which is nothing but let's say wall aggregate show. So this is the aggregate which I am getting. So I am copying everything manually and the volume size what I want to be created here that I want to keep it as one, one gigabyte. So uh, that is how you are going to use it. Uh, all this information, the important part here uh, to understand is that what is this child add 
uh, child underscore add underscore string so if you come here you won't see everything like th anything like this okay because this api is something to get the list of the volume is something which does not take uh, any kind of parameter which need to pass in there so if you if you come here and let me create new one and let me go back to cluster mode then the volume api which is to get volume data so if you see here until and unless let me delete all this unnecessary stuff and from here also volume attributes so if you see here uh, this portion what we cannot see in this api when we created this but we are seeing here right now we are seeing that that was available in the volume get iter api as well but we were not able to see that if you remember from my previous video we deleted all this stuff we we were getting the complete result we deleted all this stuff so basically uh, in this script we uh, can see that uh, because we are not deleting that stuff and that is a bare minimum what we need if we, we will try to create the volume without that it will give us an error so just to uh, uh make you understand what exactly is this this is the way how you tell uh to the api that the parameter what need to be run uh with the api this is the name of that parameter and these are going to be the value of that parameter so for example here you can see when we try to create we said that this is the name which is containing aggregate name and by clicking on this and uh, we say right click on this and we say edit this is the value what we give so this is the parameter and this is the value what we give here so same goes in this and uh, this here also this is the parameter and this is the value what we are giving and we are saying to add that as a string to the api so the api can take the pale uh, this data as a payload and uh, tell the on tab that using this payload you need to create the volume and these these parameters will be used as the volume parameters so i hope uh, that is clear with you that was important to understand here because in different apis uh, there are different kind of requirement i will try to uh, come up with another uh, tutorial for creating a qtree api and i uh, will see if uh, i can explain you more about that so we'll go ahead and create uh, this API. Uh, before that, let's understand the below por uh, uh, portion of the code. And it is uh, again uh, going to remain same what we had here, uh, except uh, the portion below this. So we are not going to use this portion. And we have uh, we are printing the result of the uh, um, API, uh, the response code. And if uh, it is successful, it is going to print it and i have added something extra it is a, just a message which is going to show us on the screen that volume is created so uh, test wall 01 what it need to create let me see if that volume already exists or not so i can see that test wall do exist uh, but there is no test wall 01 so let's go ahead and run this So uh, status was passed that means uh, the response code from the API was 200 or, or passed whatever it is and um, volume is created uh, message is printed here now let's go to the cluster and let's see if the volume is really created and if it is created so the test wall 01 you can see here the test wall 01 is created which is under uh, test underscore SVM um, uh, that is the v server name or SVM name 
uh, aggregate as we said this is the same aggregate and the size is one gigabyte so so uh, whatever parameters we gave uh, accordingly all the uh, all the accordingly the volume is created so uh, this is how uh, using the on tap api you can create the volume uh, next video i will see if i can get you I, I can show you how to create the q trees which should be a um, quick one also because we have covered most of the topic in the uh, z explorer and we know how to we now we know the difference between the v server context and the uh, cluster context api so uh, keep watching keep learning and uh, also don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much